What really happens to the human body after death? It's a question that has fascinated and perhaps frightened humanity for millennia. From the very first moments when life ceases to the final quiet stage of skeletonization, the process of decomposition is a profound biological journey. It's a window into the intricate science of mortality, a process that, while unsettling to some, is a fundamental part of nature's cycle. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain and explore this fascinating, complex, and sometimes confronting transformation of the human body after death. Join us as we delve into the science that connects life, death, and the world around us. The journey begins with the fresh stage, a phase that can last from a few hours to several days. Outwardly, the body might still appear largely intact, almost as if sleeping. But beneath the surface, a cascade of invisible changes has already begun. The moment the heart stops beating, oxygenated blood no longer circulates through the veins and arteries. This lack of oxygen triggers a cellular process known as autolysis, which literally means self-digestion. The membranes of cells, no longer able to maintain their integrity, rupture and release powerful enzymes. These are the same enzymes that, during life, helped us digest food and carry out essential metabolic functions. Now, without their usual regulatory controls, they turn inward, beginning to break down the very tissues and organs they once sustained. This internal breakdown creates an environment ripe for the next phase. The trillions of bacteria that live within our gut, once our partners in digestion, now begin to multiply and spread unchecked. They start consuming the surrounding tissues from the inside out. This initial stage is quiet and internal, setting the scene for the more dramatic changes that are about to unfold. Think of it as the calm before the storm, a silent, microscopic dismantling that precedes the body's return to its elemental components. Next, we enter the bloat stage, typically occurring between two to six days after death, although this timeline is heavily influenced by temperature and environment. The bacteria that started their work in the fresh stage now go into overdrive. As they feast on the body's tissues, they produce a cocktail of gases as byproducts of their metabolic processes. These gases include methane, hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and others. Hydrogen sulfide is particularly notable for its distinct, unpleasant smell, often described as rotten eggs, which becomes a powerful signal in the environment. These gases accumulate within the body's cavities, primarily the abdomen, causing it to swell and become visibly distended. This is the phenomenon that gives the stage its name. The pressure from the gas buildup can be immense, forcing fluids out of natural orifices and sometimes even causing ruptures in the skin. During this phase, the body's appearance changes dramatically. The skin may take on a greenish or purplish-black hue, a process called marbling, as the bacteria break down hemoglobin in the blood. This stage is a powerful attractant for insects, particularly blowflies, who are drawn by the odor from miles away. They arrive to lay their eggs, and the cycle of decomposition accelerates as a new generation of organisms joins the process. This stage is a testament to the sheer power of microbial life, transforming the body from within and signaling to the wider ecosystem that a new source of nutrients has become available. Following the bloat stage, we arrive at active decay, a period of rapid and dramatic transformation. This phase is characterized by the greatest loss of mass. The pressure built up during the bloat stage has likely been released, and the body begins to collapse in on itself as tissues liquefy. This is where the work of insects becomes paramount. The eggs laid by flies have now hatched into maggots, and these tiny creatures become the primary engines of decomposition. In vast numbers, they consume the soft tissues with incredible efficiency, breaking down muscle, fat, and organs. Their collective feeding activity generates a significant amount of heat, which can raise the temperature of the body and further speed up the process. As tissues break down, they release a dark, nutrient-rich fluid known as decomposition fluid, 
which seeps into the surrounding environment, enriching the soil. For forensic scientists, this stage is a gold mine of information. By studying the types of insects present and their developmental stage, forensic entomologists can estimate the post-mortem interval, or the time since death, with remarkable accuracy. This can be a critical piece of evidence in criminal investigations, helping to establish timelines and corroborate or refute witness statements. Active decay is a messy, intense, but incredibly vital part of the cycle where the body is rapidly broken down and its nutrients begin their journey back into the ecosystem. After the frenzy of active decay, the process slows down as we enter the advanced decay stage. By this point, most of the soft tissue has been consumed or has liquefied and drained away. The voracious activity of maggots subsides as their food source diminishes, and they begin to migrate away from the body to pupate. What remains are the tougher, more resistant materials. Cartilage, tendons, ligaments, hair, and bone. The body's mass is significantly reduced, and the focus of decomposition shifts from insect activity to the slower breakdown of these more durable tissues. The environment plays a huge role in what happens next. In very dry, arid climates, the remaining tissues might desiccate completely, leading to natural mummification. The skin and cartilage become leathery and preserved. Conversely, in wet, oxygen-poor environments like bogs or clay soil, a fascinating process called adipocere formation can occur. Fats in the body undergo a chemical change, turning into a waxy, soap-like substance often called grave wax. This substance can encase the remains, preserving the body's shape and features for an astonishingly long time. This stage is a bridge between the rapid breakdown of flesh and the long, slow endurance of the skeleton. It shows how the final journey of the body is not a single, predetermined path, but is instead shaped and sculpted by the unique conditions of its final resting place, be it soil, water, or air. Finally, we reach skeletonization, the last and longest stage of decomposition. All soft tissues, cartilage, and ligaments have now disappeared, consumed by insects, scavenged by animals, or broken down by microbes. All that is left is the skeleton. But even this is not the end of the story. The bones themselves continue to change over time, though at a much slower pace. The rate at which bones weather and break down depends on many factors. Exposure to sun can cause them to become bleached and brittle. Acidic soil can slowly dissolve them over decades or centuries, while alkaline soil might preserve them for millennia. Plants may grow through the skeleton, their roots slowly fracturing the bones. Over vast stretches of time, the bones will eventually break down into their mineral components, completing the cycle and returning fully to the earth. For archaeologists and forensic anthropologists, the skeleton is a library of information. It can reveal a person's age, sex, and stature, signs of past injuries, diseases like arthritis, and even dietary habits can be read from the bones. Skeletons from ancient burial sites tell us not just how individuals died, but how they lived, providing invaluable insights into the history of our species. Skeletonization represents the quiet, final return, a transformation from a living being into a lasting record etched in bone, waiting to tell its story. So, from the silent cellular breakdown of the fresh stage to the final endurance of the skeleton, decomposition is an intricate and orderly process. It's not simply decay, it's a form of recycling, a fundamental mechanism that returns the complex building blocks of life back to the environment. This journey, governed by biology, chemistry, and the surrounding ecosystem, is a powerful reminder of our connection to the natural world. By studying it, we learn about more than just the end of life. We uncover the secrets of ecology, we solve crimes, and we piece together the history of humanity itself. Decomposition reveals the delicate balance between life and death and highlights the incredible resilience and interconnectedness of the world around us. It's a process that ensures nothing is ever truly lost. 
but simply transformed. Thank you so much for joining us on this exploration into the science of decomposition. If you found this journey as fascinating as we did, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the world of macabre science. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. We'll see you in the next one.